Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim African Beauty, back at you with another video. And today I will be talking about the infamous Olaplex that I'm sure you have already heard about. I'm super late to the game, but you know, I'm one of those I don't really believe the hype until I try it first. And honestly, it takes me a long time to try hyped up products just because I feel like a lot of people probably have sponsorships and they tend to just, you know, say whatever so they can get their coin, which I ain't mad at, you know, get your coins, get your coins. But, you know, I just be a little skeptical before I become a believer in those terms. So today we will be talking about my review of the four and five step of the Olaplex line. And I did a wash day. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> this is all spent with my coins. And I also have the step three, the step with the step six and the step seven oils. Let's see what it focus. There we go. So I have all of these. I basically have the entire line. Um, and I wanted to try it because I have been noticing that I have a breakage issue and a length maintaining issue. So, so I've been trying to find products that are specifically for helping repair damaged hair. And so I do have the entire line. I even have the step one and the step two. It's just at my house. And as you guys know, if you see this nice background, it's because I'm at my parents' house. So we will just be talking about the step four and five when I did a wash day on it. I'm going to insert in this picture of uh, me doing my wash day. And as you can see, the shampoo lathers up very, very nicely. It does not like have that stripping feeling to it it doesn't feel like a, a clarifier it feels like a moisturizing shampoo it felt great on my hair i honestly felt like i can almost detangle with it in my hair it was pretty softening too so i'm a very big fan of the shampoo and i still feel like it got my um scalp and my hair clean that was two thumbs up from me on the shampoo now when we fast forward to the actual condition which is the step five i was not as much of a fan but i'm not gonna blame that on the product i'm gonna say that's a me thing because i'm just starting to learn about myself and just my hair that i don't really like excuse me i don't really like rinse out conditioners like i'm just not a fan anymore i only think that they have a purpose in my hair regimen whenever I'm not doing a deep conditioning treatment, which I'm almost always doing some form of deep conditioning treatment or protein treatment to my hair and I'm sitting under a dryer on my wash days. So with that being said, I just feel like rinse out conditioners are just a step that I can mix and shorten up my wash day without losing quality in the health of my hair. When it comes to the conditioner, I was able to detangle it wasn't super softening. I felt like other conditioners have gotten my hair more softened. But, you know, yeah, rinse out conditioners, they're just not my favorite. So, it, I wouldn't say it was terrible, but I, I'm not, like, crazy about it. So, the shampoo is two thumbs up. The conditioner, it was okay. I'd probably give it, like, a six, seven out of ten. Anyway, so that is my little quick review on the step four and five. I am going to continue this video and show you how the step three, the step six, and the step seven work in my hair. The three might be a video on its own because obviously I already did the wash day. This is supposed to be like the pre-poo. I would consider it a pre-poo. It says that it repairs and strengthens and strengthens all hair types. And it's not a shampoo and it's not a conditioner. It says not a conditioner, not in all caps. And it says it's a bond builder. So whenever I use something before a, a shampoo, I'm gonna call it a pre-poo. They call it a bond builder. I'm calling it a pre-poo. You do this before the shampoo. I usually do pre-poos with aloe vera gel, but I might just, you know, put the aloe vera, give myself a break on preparing aloe vera because we all know that's a whole process in and of itself. But I might take a little break off of that and try this out. I would probably, look at y'all, this is 3.3 ounces. So I feel like I will probably get maybe two 
maybe three uses out of that little nega nega thing. I'll give myself a break and you know once the bottle is out I'll let y'all know like if I really did feel like my hair was soft and strengthened or I guess strengthened it doesn't because it says it's not a conditioner so and we're supposed to do it use one time per week for damaged hair two to three times per week. Well, Dad, two to three. Th don't nobody got the coins to be doing it two to three times per week. This is a very high end product, y'all. This is not a cheap product. I literally saved my coins. I have like a, a natural hair budget, which I use whenever I'm trying to get products. Anything that's pretty much hair related, I have a budget for it. And I literally saved my budget for these products so I could get the entire line and do reviews for you guys. And I really wanted to see how it works on my hair. I have seen reviews for like the three, which is this, and the four and the five. A very, very few on the one and the two when people would record themselves at the hair salon. But I have not seen the one through seven, which is the complete line. So I do want to try to do a review on that so I can see what it's talking about. They're about $28 a pop and yeah 26 to 28 dollars and they they come in these little nega nega 3.3 ounce fluid ounce and it's just it's not enough so are you kidding me right now anyways so I will let you guys know how that goes. Just continue watching and I will continue to use these products until they are empty and I will do a follow up on it and let you guys know if I really notice a difference in my hair. Usually I try product for three months, but I'm gonna try it until it runs out <laughs> and hope that's good enough.